And I think when I listened to the song, I kind of liked it. But now I'm thinking back to it. I'm like, that song is trash. That song was terrible. Hey honeys, it's your boy Jeremiah back again with another video. And in today's video, I'll be reacting to Camila Cabello performing Easy live on SNL. I previously reacted to the three earlier releases as well as the music videos, which I'll link in the card above if you want to check those out. To sum them up, the tracks were good. I enjoyed Liar the best. I think Cry For Me was pretty good. And at the bottom of the list would be Shameless. Now she's released this fourth track, Easy. I haven't heard the track, so I'll be listening to the song as well as watching the performance. And this will be my reaction to both of them at the same time. I'm assuming she's going a different route from her previous album in which she released maybe one or two singles and once Havana went really big, she really rolled that out until the album came out and then she rolled that out after the album came out. So now I'm thinking she's trying to get as much of an uproar from multiple tracks before she releases her album, which if I'm like correct with staying up on the pop culture and all that, I don't think it's working because when it comes to the charts and the top 10s and the top 20s and the Billboard Hot 100, I don't see any of these songs on there, to be quite honest. They're on there for maybe a week, then they drop off or something. Senorita with Shawn Mendes is the only one that I'm seeing that's doing consistently well in the top 10 from her. With that being said, I want to get into the video, but before we get into the video, make sure you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell icon for notifications when I post. I post every week, not every two weeks, not every three weeks, every seven days or less, honey. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Camila Cabello. Wow, this song is beautiful. See, one thing I'm noticing here is the styling. And y'all know I'm a styling snob. And I just can't get over this black choker on her neck with the white dress. Come on, wh whoever styled her needs to get that right because it's just clashing. First of all, the dress is beautiful. The dress is very soft, very flowy, very elegant. The black choker I can do without. And I see the little fishnets under, which I think is a cute little touch of edginess. But the choker I can do without. Her stage performance has gotten so much better.
Wow, y'all, that was beautiful. I will say that was truly, truly beautiful. Her stage performance has gotten so much better since she first came out. Everything about her has just gotten so much better from when I initially listened to her. I think her message has gotten clearer. I think she knows who she wants to be now. She's not in this position of where she's trying to do everything. Because that's what I felt like the first album was. She was grabbing at a lot of things, a lot of sounds, and a lot of different moods to get that first album. And that's kind of why I think she was in this space for a while where she couldn't really release any music that was relevant. Because now that I think of the releases after the album, if I'm not mistaken, that song with Pharrell, I reacted to it on the channel, it was about fruit or something. Sangria Wine, it was called. And I think when I listened to the song, I kind of liked it. But now I'm thinking back to it, I'm like, that song is trash. That song was terrible. It wasn't relevant to what she was doing. But... She was doing it. And now I think she's in this place where she knows who she is musically. And she's continuing in that path. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this song right here is my favorite song. I think this song is much better than Liar. I'm a sucker for a love song. And I think if you write the song right and you get the production right, it's beautiful. And just the sultriness, the softness, the tenderness of her voice paired with the drums in this background production they got going on is beautiful i don't know how it sounds in the studio like the actual song but from this live performance right here this is one of my favorites from her overall i would give this a 10 out of 10 definitely everything about this was beautiful minus the choker on her neck like i said the choker got a go girl look when you go out when you go in every performance when you go in every press look at yourself in the mirror and take one thing off if the stylist put it on, you still take one thing off. That choker should have been gone. Everything else about this performance was beautiful. But that is all for this video, guys. Make sure you like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon for notifications when I post. I post every week. Not every two weeks. Not every three weeks. Every seven days or less, honey. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, honeys.